Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain quadrature amplitude modulation with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, first of all, I will discuss about basics of quadrature amplitude modulation. After that, I will explain constellation diagram of quadrature amplitude modulation. After that, I will explain modulation and demodulation process. And at last, I will explain advantages, disadvantages and applications of quadrature amplitude modulation. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of quadrature amplitude modulation. See in QAM, we will be conveying digital data by changing amplitude and phase of carrier. So here in QAM, what we do is we change amplitude as well as phase of carrier signal to represent digital data, right? See, QAM is also known as Quadrature Amplitude Shift King. You need to understand this name. See, Quadrature. Quadrature means here there will be two categories of carrier. One is in-phase carrier and second is Quadrature Phase Carrier. If I say in-phase carrier is cos omega ct, then quadrature phase carrier will be sin omega ct. And here there will be change in amplitude with carrier to represent digital data. So that is also known as quadrature amplitude shift key, right? See, QAM is a combination of analog and digital modulation. That I'll explain in modulation and demodulation process. Right now consider, QAM is a combination of analog and digital modulation. See, QAM modulates the signal by varying amplitude and phase of the carrier. That's why here there will be efficient utilization of bandwidth. See, here we will be changing amplitude as well as phase of carrier. So here, with each symbol, one can represent many bits that I'll explain in constellation diagram how one can represent bits. But here we will be doing two things. One is change in amplitude with carrier and second is change in phase. So with each symbol, there will be more number of bits compared to other digital modulation schemes, right? That's why here there will be efficient utilization of bandwidth. See, as I have told you, quadrature amplitude modulation that is having two categories of carrier. In phase carrier, if I say that is cos omega ct, then quadrature phase carrier that will be sin omega ct. And in QAM, we will be modulating signal by changing amplitude as well as phase. Let me explain that by constellation diagram. So first of all, I'll consider binary QAM. See binary QAM and binary PSK, both are having same constellation diagram. You can observe here only two symbols are there, right? So if you have two symbols, then you don't need to change amplitude, right? Simply by changing phase, one can represent two symbols. So if you talk about binary QAM, then that is similar to binary PSK, right? Now, when you talk about four symbol QAM, so that is also similar to four symbol PSK. I have already explained QPSK in my earlier videos, right? Here, if you have equal distance with respect to center, but if you bisect 360 degrees in four symbols, then with the spacing of 90 degree phase, one can represent these four symbols, right? So here also, we are not changing amplitude of symbols. You see, with respect to center, all the symbols that is having equal distance. But here we are changing phase, right? Now, let me explain bit higher order of QAM. So now I'll consider 16 QAM. Now in 16 QAM, how many symbols are there? In total, 16 symbols are there. You can observe. This is in-phase axis and this is quadrature phase axis. In-phase axis, 
that we are considering as cos omega ct and quadrature phase axis that we are considering as sin omega ct. Distance with respect to center that represents amplitude and angle with respect to i axis that represents phase. So here you can observe, see this symbol and this another three symbol means in total four symbol that is having equal distance with respect to center. But the symbols are having different phase, right? Now there can be question like how many amplitude levels are there with given quam? Like if you have a question in this 16 quam, how many amplitude levels are there? Then you will have to focus in one quadrant only. See, there are four quadrants, right? You can observe. But we need to focus in one quadrant only. Like you can observe in this one quadrant, this symbol is having unique distance with respect to center. But if you compare distance of these two symbols with respect to center, then that is same. And this single symbol that is having unique distance with respect to center, right? So with 16 quam, you can easily say that there are three amplitude levels that is there with this 16 different symbols. There can be one more question like how many bits are there per symbol? So 2 to the power n is equals to 16 means n is equals to 4. So with each symbol there will be 4 bits, right? Now let me increase the complexity. You see here we have 64 quam and with this 64 quam in total 64 symbols are there. Right. In total, four quadrants are there. So in each quadrant, there will be 16 symbols. There can be first question that with each symbol, how many bits are there? So 2 to the power n, that is equals to 64. So based on that, you can easily identify n is equals to 6. Right. Now there can be second question. How many amplitude levels are there? So for that, what you need to do is you need to focus in single quadrant and in this single quadrant, you will have to bisect this quadrant as per diagonal, right? With this half portion of this quadrant, how many symbols are there? See this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In total, 10 symbols are there. What it means? With 64 quam, there will be in total 10 different amplitude levels. If you observe this 16 quam, then if you bisect this quadrant diagonally, then here in total 3 symbols are there. Likewise, with 64 quam in this single quadrant, if you bisect this quadrant diagonally, then here in total 10 symbols are there and with each of those symbols, we have unique distance with respect to center means in total 10 amplitude levels are there. Now let me increase the complexity. Now I'll consider 256 quam. So with each symbol, how many bits are there? 2 to the power n is equals to 256 means n is equals to 8. So here with each symbol, 8 bits are there. Right. And if you want to understand how many amplitude levels are there, then you will have to bisect this one quadrant diagonally. In this single quadrant, you will be observing in total 256 divided by 4 number of symbols are there. And after bisecting this diagonally, you will have to observe how many symbols are there. And that will be total number of amplitude levels. Right. Now, let me explain quam modulator. See, I have told you that quam is a combination of analog and digital modulation. Let me explain how. See, here we will be having digital data that will be input, right? So here you will be observing we have digital data. First of all, we will be converting this digital data into parallel 
and for that we will be using serial to parallel converter and here there are two wings you can observe why we have two wings the reason is one wing that will be given to in phase carrier and second wing that will be given to out of phase carrier right so here you can observe we have four bits that we will be converting into analog symbol over here and another four bits that we will be converting into analog signal over here right and these two signals that we will be giving it to in phase carrier and out of case carrier along with product modulator so here you can observe we have local oscillator that is generating carrier signal and see this signal x1 of t that we give it to product modulator with this carrier signal directly and this second signal that we give it to product modulator along with carrier with 90 degree phase so here we have input signal let us say that is x1 of t and here we have x2 of t signal this carrier is cos omega ct that is directly given to product modulator and after 90 degree phase it will be sin omega ct so this product modulator that will be multiplying these two signal and that will be resulting into x1 of t cos omega ct and here we have a multiplication that is resulting into x2 of t sin omega ct right and these two signals that we are adding and that is resulting into qm signal if i say this signal is s of t which is qm signal then that s of t that is simply x1 of t cos omega ct plus x2 of t sin omega ct that is algebraic addition of these two right now let me explain how do we do demodulation of this signal right so in demodulation process this qm signal that is s of t signal that we give it to product modulator where here we have a carrier signal that is cos omega ct after 90 degree phase it will be sin omega ct and with this product modulator here signal will be let us say y1 of t so what is y1 of t y1 of t that is s of t into cos omega ct right and here with this product modulator if i say my output is y2 of t then what is y2 of t y2 of t that will be s of t into sin omega ct right and when you pass this signal through low pass filter here there should be symbol which is x1 of t and here there should be symbol that should be x2 of t and these two symbols that should be as per the symbols which are generated by digital to analog converter over here let me explain that how it is happening so first of all we need to understand what is y1 of t so y1 of t that i have told you that is s of t into cos of omega ct so let me take that first what is s of t see s of t that is x1 of t cos omega ct plus x2 of t sin omega ct right so let me place it over here now simply i will multiply this cos omega ct inside this so here we will be having x1 of t into cos square omega ct plus x2 of t into sin omega ct cos omega ct right now we need to simplify this further so here we have x1 of t into cos square omega ct what is cos square that is 1 plus cos 2 omega ct divided by 2 and here we have x2 of t 
into sin omega ct cos omega ct one should know 2 sin omega ct into cos omega ct that is sin 2 omega ct so this will be half of sin 2 omega ct right now what we are doing is we are passing this signal through low pass filter you can observe so if you pass this signal y1 of t through low pass filter then what will happen then see here we have x1 of t divided by 2 and here we have x1 of t divided by 2 into cos 2 omega ct plus x2 of t by 2 into sin 2 omega ct where here these two components that is having high frequency component right so that is getting eliminated by low pass filter so here you will be observing output of low pass filter that will be x1 of t only right that will be x1 of t divided by 2 right now this x1 of t divided by 2 that we give it to analog to digital converter and here we will be having digital data that is parallel data and here we have parallel to serial converter so here we will be having serial digital data right now let me explain advantages of quam when it comes to advantages of quam then one should know it is having high spectral efficiency means for each symbol we can represent more bits right see second advantage that is based on different levels one should know in market there are many different levels of quam is available like 16 quam 64 quam 256 quam and 1024 quam see with 1024 quam with each symbol in total there will be 10 number of bits right if you talk about disadvantages then one should know it is sensitive to noise why the reason is here we perform modulation with respect to amplitude and phase and one should know amplitude is more sensitive to noise right see second disadvantage that is based on complexity if you observe modulation and demodulation process then here we have analog to digital conversion digital to analog conversion as well as we need carrier signal at receiver side so there has to have synchronization so complexity of circuit that will be high when it comes to detection of quam then there has to have coherent detection only the reason is at receiver side without carrier one cannot detect original data right see here for more number levels you will be observing we need higher power for transmission right the reason is when it comes to 16 quam at that time there are three amplitude levels that i have told you when it comes to 64 quam at that time there are in total 10 number of amplitude levels so when you have multiple amplitude levels with each symbols at the time there has to have higher power for transmission when it comes to interference with multipath then there will be higher interference the reason is here modulation is there with respect to amplitude and phase if you talk about applications then there are many applications it is used in digital tv signals we use that in broadband internet connection we use that in wireless communication like in Wi-Fi, LTE and 5G network we use QAM. We also use that in optical communication. So that is how different applications are there with QAM. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.